How are you doing? I was just doing important work for my jobs. Hi, I'm Alicia Rye. Welcome to Quarantine Kitchen. No, damn it. <laughs> Welcome to Quarantine Cuisine, where we make good food fast. Today, we are gonna be using my favorite ingredient in the world, the potato. I love potatoes. I love potatoes anyway. I like them fried, I like them baked. Well, I won't go into all the things I love, but I think french fries are probably my favorite food in the world. Actually, tater tots are probably my favorite food in the world, but tater tots are kind of like a french fry cousin. Anyway, potato, onion, and that's it. The only two things in this dish. Everything else that we add, like turmeric, chili, curry leaves, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, all stuff that should be familiar, staples to have in your kitchen. Might cost a bit when you get them all at first, but they will last a really long time. We'll have them forever, trust me. But otherwise, it's just these guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dice your onion up. And when you cut your potato, you're gonna cut it. Uh, hang on, this knife's a little dull. Let me fix it. This is a little apocalypse trick. You have a mug, you have the unpainted porcelain side. Ceramic? Whatever. It's a corral mug, right? This part right here, you can sharpen your knife on it. Be very careful. We don't need any trips anywhere with blood seeping. And it sharpens it right up. I actually learned this from this guy I dated in my 20s. He only really went on like three or four dates because if I remember right, he wanted to go camping and I wanted to live. So there's that. I'm not saying that you always die when you go camping, but I'm saying chance that I'll get eaten by a bear in my house, very slim. Chance that I'll get eaten by a bear when I'm camping, possible. Also, he just showed me how to sharpen a knife in a pinch, so I feel like I made a good call there. Anyway, you're gonna put it into quarters and you're gonna slice your potato kinda thin, like that. Not because it looks pretty or for any aesthetic reason whatsoever. Again, be careful when you're slicing because now my knife is super sharp. But because it cooks faster. And that's what we're all about here. Doesn't matter what it looks like. We just want it to cook as fast as we can. But really, there's no way to screw these proportions up. However you do them, you can just add in more potato or add in more onion. Very easy. Okay, pretend that's all my potatoes. We'll head on over to the stove. Okay, so our oil is hot and we're gonna put in our mustard seeds. Oh no, what's with that? Okay, so we heat our oil, quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds. They're popping, not too fast, but that's okay. They're still popping. Quarter teaspoon, cumin. There we go. And then a couple of curry leaves. If you have those big red peppers, those are also really good to put in here. We call this, um, this is kind of standard for a lot of dishes. We call it fordney. There's different words. So that's good. We're gonna let it just get in there a little bit. Let that oil heat up. There we go. Man, I wish I had a real stove. the onion down too much in here. It's good if it's like a little on the bigger side. So not like super dicey. We're just gonna saute these for a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna put our potatoes in. And if they've been cut thin enough, they should cook pretty quick. Just gonna get all that oil in there. We're gonna put in about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of red chili powder. Look 
give it some nice color. Again, add this sparingly. So if it doesn't look quite the right color, you can add more of whatever, either the turmeric or the chili powder. The taste isn't quite there, but you don't want to add too much to start. It will taste weird. You'll be very sad about it. We're just gonna let this cook for a little bit. Oh, I forgot salt. How dare I? I'm not gonna spill it this time. Actually, you know what? Forget it. No measurements. Measurements are how you spill things. I know this doesn't look like much yet, but trust me, it'll look delicious. Well, maybe it won't look delicious, but it'll taste delicious. And like a little quarter teaspoon, eighth of a teaspoon, whatever you want, sugar to taste, kind of. And just take some of that. Turmeric has a very like not sour. I don't know what the I don't know what the English word for it is, but it's got a particular taste. And sometimes the sometimes just adding a little bit of sugar seems to like neutralize it. Because we've cooked those potatoes pretty thin, they should cook pretty fast. You want to make sure you have enough oil in there so nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. But you also want to let it sit a little bit so it has time to cook. You can even put like a little lid on it, let it cook properly. Um, do not walk away from it. I have learned that through great trial and error. Watch it, but let it cook. We'll actually put a lid on it and let it cook a little bit. Bent it a little bit. Let it cook for a few minutes. Okay, these potatoes look nice and cooked. And this is it. This is it. It's so easy. Anyone can do it? Oh no. I'll take care of that later. But this is done. And how you can eat it, my favorite way, I think, is um, if you don't have tortillas, that's fine. Get a tortilla. Am I very imbalanced looking now? Hang on, let me just get this one off too. There we go. Get tortillas, fry them up a little bit, roll it up and eat it that way. You can also put it together with meat. I didn't put any meat in this. Um, I'm not afraid it cooking meat. I feel like I usually either undercook it or overcook it. But I'll try to come up with some like really easy, you know, quarantine meat recipes. But yeah, you can put this together with meat. Put it together however you want, but it's also just like a really nice side dish. I mean, it's really delicious. Get a little piece. Mmm, very good. Oh, a little more salt, maybe, but very good. Very easy. Two ingredients and then flavor, and you're all set. So thank you. Delicious. Thank you for joining me for quarantine cuisine. And we'll see you next time.